What the research scientists did here is possibly develop, or I should say discover, a connection between zinc deficiency. I am emphasizing the word deficiency here because we are not looking at zinc supplementation. We are looking at what happens when, in this case an animal model, zinc levels go too low. The result basically is it loses the ability to properly maintain sodium levels. In this case, when zinc levels go too low, the body abnormally reabsorbs sodium when it should be excreting it. So you'll understand why in a second as we proceed. But emphasize, zinc deficiency, not zinc supplementation. The argument between what's an optimal level of zinc and what's a deficient state of zinc has been going on for a long period of time, but I'll leave that for you to decide. But in case, let's get right into the research as follows. Zinc deficiency may play a role in high blood pressure. Lower than normal zinc levels may contribute to high blood pressure, hypertension, by altering the way the kidneys handle sodium. The study is first published ahead of print, the American Journal of Physiology and Real Physiology. And I'll read kind of fast until it gets to the second paragraph. Zinc deficiency is common in people with chronic illnesses such as type 2 diabetes and chronic disease. People with low zinc levels are also at higher risk for hypertension. The way in which kidneys either excrete sodium into the urine or reabsorb it into the body, specifically through a pathway called sodium chloride co-transporter, otherwise NCC, think NACL in regards to that designation, also plays a role in blood pressure control. Less sodium in the urine typically corresponds with higher blood pressure. Why? In this case, because the zinc levels are too low, the body is not excreting sodium normally. Recent research has suggested that zinc may help regulate proteins that in turn regulate the NCC, sodium chloride co-transporter. But a direct link between zinc deficiency induced hypertension has not been examined, obviously, till now. Researchers compared male mice with zinc deficiency to healthy controls with normal zinc levels. The zinc deficient mice developed high blood pressure and a corresponding decrease in the urinary sodium excretion. So that makes a strong correlation. The control group did not experience the same changes. A small group of zinc deficient mice were fed a zinc rich diet partway through the study. Once the animal's zinc levels reached adequate levels, blood pressure began to drop and urinary sodium levels increased, meaning they're excreting sodium at an appropriate level. These significant findings demonstrate that enhanced renal sodium reabsorption plays a critical, 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 I apologize, in role in zinc deficiency induced hypertension. All right, now we're going to go to the full study. For the researchers out there, obviously we'll have the link to basically the study itself, the abstract. If you want to get this information here, click on the, click on the PDF and it'll give you the full study. Now, what we're looking at here, and I want to reemphasize this again, we are just talking a zinc deficient state as highlighted above, not zinc supplementation. Even though it doesn't mean that zinc supplementation may help fix this problem, but however though, in this case, what happens when a biological organism, in this case mice, maybe humans, uh, become deficient in zinc. So let's proceed to conclusion in the full published study itself. This study is the first to link dysregulated renal sodium transport to zinc deficiency induced hypertension. Furthermore, NCC, sodium chloride co-transporter, represents a novel mechanism by which zinc regulates blood pressure. Understanding the specific mechanisms by which zinc deficiency contributes to blood pressure dysregulation may have an important impact on the treatment of hypertension in chronic disease settings. So, what we're really getting at here is that if a person has a difficult time uh, regulating blood pressure and they've tried everything else, they may want to talk with their medical professional and actually see if their zinc levels are adequate. Because if the zinc levels are low, then obviously there's going to be a problem with sodium reabsorption uh, or absorption per se. And obviously the next step is someone's going to give them a diuretic. Well, what if they don't need a diuretic? What if they just need to maintain healthy levels of zinc? Without adding publisher bias, it's just conjecture, which may be something to think look at a little bit later on in regard to speculating with your medical professional. Again, this is Ralph Channel signing off once again. Hope you find this information of use. Again, DOI, link to the full study, the abstract will be there for you to research on your own. And as always, thank you very much for listening. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Catch you next time. Bye.